Pixelgun 3D are hosting a community contest, giving players the chance to have their own weapon designs featured in the official game. All creations must be submitted by the 28th of April, 2024. I've decided for today's video to react to the community's creations. You guys are incredibly talented. I wanted to kind of discuss some of the designs, see the best ones in the community, and I want you guys to get involved and leave some comments down below and tell me the weapons that you really enjoy. We don't really know how many are going to be introduced to the game. It's not just weapons. It's going to be avatars, gadgets, vehicles, and so much more. So let's see what the community came up with. One of the earlier submitted designs was this. And I know this weapon very, very well. This is like an AA-12 shotgun. A semi-automatic shotgun with a round drum. Part of me is sitting here thinking, do we really need another shotgun in the economy of Pixel Gun 3D? But I like this design a lot. With it having a round drum, it's definitely going to have a lot of ammunition. What I do like, though, is the scope design that you've gone for. The only downside to this is you've called it Glint. I think there needs to be a little bit more of a creative name. But I like your design. The next design I really liked was by Hakita. They're not willing to share their ID. You're a very smart person. The weapon is called Alternate Timeline. They shared all the details behind it. It would be laser, wall break, critical damage, and acceleration after getting a kill. And I really love the details behind the reload animation because the weapon itself is an hourglass. You can see it on the back of the weapon. You can see it on the barrel and you can see it here as the clip slash magazine. So when you reload this, you would flip it upside down. You reload it, you flip it again and all the grains are starting to go through that small hole. I like that so much. A really creative design. This one is my favorite so far. This user is asking for a Prototype S revamp slash remaster. They definitely need to buff the Prototype S. This was obviously a recreation of the original prototype. Kind of got left in the dark and definitely needs some kind of buff. I think what you should have done here is created a skin design for it. Now, one thing we have noticed in Pixel Gun 3D lately, especially with the introduction with the PC version, is that the developers can introduce unique skins that give unique abilities. I think that needs to be more common. So I think with this, not necessarily a new prototype S weapon slash revamp, but a new type of skin to give the abilities that you have suggested. Now, this definitely caught my eye. This is not a weapon. This is to do with gadgets, multiple gadget designs. So this one here is the Shocks Kunai. I think I'm saying that right. 100 damage to the enemy, electric shock for five seconds, cool time 30 seconds. Now, this looks like a throwing kind of gadget and we need more throwing kind of gadget. Now, my thought process behind this is you have like these... Well, like throwing knives, you can throw them at the floor and in a certain radius, a player can be shocked for a limited time. Kind of the way the nuke works. It's only in like an allotted area. You could do the same with this. And I really love the concept here. Now, this person went ahead and brought back some nostalgia here with the resurrection. This was a gadget in Pixel Gun 3D that was removed a very, very long time ago, but they've called it the ammunition resurrection. When this gadget is active, all the weapons you are using will be in a state where they have finished reloading. So I think because the English is slightly broken here, how this should work is if you use this gadget, it would replenish all of your bullets in all of your weapons to like a fresh spawn. The only sad thing about this though, it's a great idea, but Pixel Gun 3D is way too fast paced for something like this. So I think this could be great for like battle royale only because we know you don't get a lot of bullets in that so really love that one and then they had change the enemy's position and your position are swapped during the match cooldown is 45 seconds that's really smart could you imagine throwing that into the mix of duels so really creative here i love your guys ideas
I think we have a winner here, guys. It's the big gun. Shoots a nuke and kills everyone in the map instantly. <laughs> but hold on. Hold on. It gets better. We go a little bit further down here. Not this one. This one. Skull. Ball. <laughs> Oh, you guys, honestly, the trolling is real sometimes. Two really creative designs here. This person even has some animations going on. I like this, dude. This looks sick. I need to know what program you're using for this. It even shows you the reloading animation. Absolutely genius work. So we have the cybernetic pulsator. Uh, what, what what category is it? This is a primary. You make me happy, man. I like how you've got two different colors going on. I like this a lot. This is more of like a futuristic style weapon. This could be very fitting for like a, a Halo themed update. I like it. So it's mythical. Bullet type. Fire rate is 100. So very fast. Capacity is 100 slash 300. Mobility 90. It has rage. It's automatic, infrared, imager, and four-time zoom. And then we have Sledgehammer, which is a shotgun pistol. Okay, I like the idea behind that. It's only legendary, though. Fast projectile, fire rate would be 84. And the attributes would be multiple shots, manual guidance, kill targets, explodes, and ammo counter. We need to see more ammo counter weapons. So we're... Oh, oh. I've just noticed where the where the counter would be. It would be at the back here. I love this design. I would 100% vote for this. I think that's a genius, a genius idea. Curious though, how a shotgun pistol with manual guidance would actually work. You did say that, right? Multiple shots and manual guidance. Be interesting to see how Pixagun could implement something like this. Is that an STG? I know my weapons. Is it? It is an STG. My guys modified an old school German assault rifle, bro. <laughs> hey, I, I love the whole era behind like the world wars. So I would be down for this, but they would have to do like a very old military kind of update for this because you couldn't throw this in the update with the last one I've just showed you. But I really like the idea. It looks like a heavy weapon, but they've got this as a primary Glacial Vaporizer, Automatic No Scope Laser. Coldness slows down enemies, fire rates for all weapons, killed targets explode into ice fragments. I like the idea behind that. Simple, easy, that's what I would like to see. I'm liking this design as well. We've seen some really good like handheld dagger designs. They said that these would be called the Phantom Daggers. Burst three, three daggers are thrown at a time, fanning out horizontally and consuming three ammunition. And here's the stats. Or oh, they would also have lifesteal. I can definitely see them having something like that. And explain the animation, which would be when held, they should be slightly fanned out. I would like like a, a slow animation popping out of the handle. If possible, a little looping animation of the ghost blades would be cool. Yeah, I fully agree. I I'm liking them. Bro is back with another set of designs. The vapor wave, which is a primary and the gatekeeper, which is a backup weapon. Dude, check them out, man. I like how the animation on this works when you like uh, release the clip. And then the revolver looks like a very hard hitting kind of weapon. No animation with this one though, but I feel like you could like snap it in half, pop out the bullets and then go again. The primary would be automatic five times zoom and x-ray. I feel like it could definitely have some better attributes than that and then we have the backup the attributes would be super shotgun lifesteal and bleeding this person right here redesigns the default weapons i love this pixagon did say that they were redesigning the defaults bro you did an incredible job here you've kept them as close as possible to the original designs while also modifying them the, the brilliance behind this, I, I like this the best, bro. Like, check out the sniper. You did a phenomenal job. It, Pixagon definitely got to listen to something like this. Because they want to change the default weapons, which I get because Pixagon's been around for a very long time. But I feel that the old skins, sorry, the old weapons should be available as skins and the new ones should be like this. So creative. I love it. And then you've also done another design. 
uh, which is the sparkling horn, right? Oh, I like that one. That would be really good as a skin. That would be good for like a poison design. And then what was the last one you shared? I can't quite see what's going on with that one, but brilliant. So bro is back with even more designs here, skin designs. Rather than skins, I think this would be great as like an armor set. Was, was that a tank? It's not a tank. That's a tank, bro. Where would we have the tank? Yo. Oh, the gadget. Oh, how would that work? I wonder if he wrote any information behind that. I think he did inside of here. We have the telefrag tools. We have the mini killer turrets. Pets. Okay. Uh, wow. The descriptions behind this is impressive. I'm going to just check out some of these details. Oh, so yeah. They wear veteran supremacy. It was a pet hat and boots. So yeah, for veteran users that have been around for a very long time. Because again, most people now are starting to get the veterans weapons. I only just finished getting them all. So yeah, I think new veteran sets could be introduced. I like the idea behind that. This dude has so many ideas. Check this out. Kind of like a revamp on the battle mech. He's called it the anniversary battle mech genius design here that is like a prototype right anniversary prototype reskin that's what i'm saying a lot of these are great designs and and i can see pixagon wouldn't introduce them as weapons but they could definitely do it as skin designs anniversary prototype i think a lot of people would be lovers of this thing and then this would be what built abilities laser super war break infrared and single shots uh super war break ignores damage penalty when firing through walls. The only problem with that is it's incredibly overpowered. And that's why Pixagun try and do it as a full set effect. We'll end with an ultimatum design. This is a skin. They've called it the Sakura Ultimatum. It says makes it more of a magic sound when shot. Leaves appear from the muzzle and most of the glow is purple. Branches that surround it moves as it shot. So it can be re reloaded and grow back. So really creative designs. There's so many more designs out there. If you guys would like to see a part two to this, then please be sure to hit that like button. If you want to get involved, head over to their Discord. And if you guys are creating stuff, I'm a big fan of your designs. And I hope Pixagun listens to a lot of these ideas.